How is everybody doing today? Finally, we have more information on the new Dragon Ball game, and it has actually been given an official title. It's called Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Now, before I get into anything else in this video, I was doing a little looking around to see if I could find, like, if Xenoverse meant something in particular, and I found a website called GameZone, and they did a little article on the game. And there's a little uh, paragraph here that mentions what Xenoverse means. So I'll just read it out so you guys have an understanding uh, if you didn't know what it meant like I'm in right now. A Xenoverse contains multiple metaverses. A metaverse contains multiple multiverses and a multiverse contains multiple universes. So I'm assuming this is going to uh, coincide with why there's a futuristic city uh, a time machine and all that kind of stuff uh, in the very first screenshots we got of this game. And also the fact that the mystery character uh, is seen to be time traveling in the trailer that has been released. And I say time traveling because he sort of just like appears out of nowhere, sort of like uh, he would in a time machine or whatever. So I'm not sure whether he himself can time travel or whether obviously he needs the time machine or what, but. It looked like that he just appeared out of nowhere and it seems like that the story is going to be whether there's a set Z storyline or a Dragon Ball storyline where you play through that and then if there is a hero mode and if this character is a created custom character whether we play through an altered timeline or something uh, in the Dragon Ball Z universe where he pops up uh, against with Goku and Vegeta and maybe so far along the lines with Kid Buu, Majin Buu and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I'm getting from this explanation of Xenoverse. I thought it was just like, you know, Xenoverse, it was going to be like a all the Dragon Ball Z like arcs all in one, so Xenoverse if you understand what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, E3 brought this out. I was very skeptical as to whether anything was going to be shown because I don't remember Battle of Z being shown at E3 at all last year. I think we got that trailer, uh, I can't remember if it was late June or late July, but I th kind of remember not getting necessarily anything at E3 and it was only after that we saw a trailer Oh, sorry, another trailer and even gameplay. But I was surprised. I watched all the other conference. Uh, I watched Sony's press conference and I watched Nintendo's digital event. And so at the time of this recording, the Dragon Ball Z stuff must have popped up at least within the last 12 hours because I woke up in the morning and I checked Facebook and it was like, bam, new Dragon Ball game, Dragon Ball Z universe. I'm like, whoa, I got to check this out. And I was really surprised. And the game actually looks really good but then again that doesn't really count for much because uh, Ultimate Tenkaichi looked really good and we all know how that came out but personally I think it looks a lot like a burst limit uh, art style enhanced and obviously this is being built for the PlayStation 4 and now the Xbox one as well and then I'm assuming they're gonna port them down to the uh, previous gen consoles so hopefully the PlayStation 4 and that get the get it all done for them so that it's not, you know, ported up rather than ported down. And there's actually been a gameplay session uh, uploaded as well that I've seen, which looks really good. I mean, in the trailer, you can sort of see some gameplay with Vegeta fighting Goku, and it sort of has a Tenkaichi uh, Raging Blast 2 feel with it, with the rushing and whatnot. But in the gameplay video, which may or may, not, may or may not be linked in the description, so you should check that out after this video is finished, it uh, ha sort of has like a, the targeting system, you can actually clearly see, a, it's sort of like a, sort of reminds me of like a Battle of Z target lock on thing, rather than in all the other Dragon Ball games, you know you're locked on to uh, the enemy. But other than that, it looks really, really good. There's, uh, in the gameplay, I believe it shows brief clip fighting Frieza, then Cell, and then Kid Buu, and yes, it is confirmed that uh, in-game transformations, real-time transformations, will be back. They weren't there in Battle of Z, but if you watch the gameplay, uh, I think one of the people playing actually mentions that 
It's not stated in the trailer or shown in the gameplay, but real-time transformations will be making an appearance, so you don't have to choose, say, Super Saiyan 3 Goku to play as that character. So I'm really excited about that because I think having the ch uh, option to be able to transform mid-battle adds a little bit more immersiveness to the battle rather than thinking halfway through the battle, damn, I really wish I would chose this character. But you guys are seeing screenshots uh, from the game right now. I've, hopefully you guys think it's as good as I do. As we know with Dragon Ball Z games, we have to reserve our judgment. We can't judge things straight away because generally things turn out not as we first thought they were through trailers and whatnot. So I'm still going to be skeptical, but so far I'm really impressed. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up this. I just wanted to give my little touch on the trailer and screenshots. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think of it? Would you rather that they went back to the 2D fighting style or do you prefer the over the shoulder 3D style that they've been with since our Raging Blast? Let me know. I would be really interested to hear what you guys have to say. So until my next Dragon Ball Xenoverse update, have a fantastic day.